Hello, this is Jeff Nager at AMD World Championship, a custom bike building, and today we have Larry from Lamb Engineering. Yeah, Lamb Engineering from England. From England, and he's come across the pond to show this tasty cafe racer. And uh, Larry, talk a little bit about this bike. Um, what was your inspiration? Um, my first inspiration was um, probably my last bike. It was a uh, Honda CBX 1000, which is six cylinder. Um, it was it was a semi show bike, semi road bike. I mean, it, it does. I actually do um, track the bike, um, but after building a six cylinder bike, I wanted to build something that was uh, completely different, like i.e. a single cylinder. Um, the engine just came off by chance on eBay one day. The, the, they're a very rare motor. It's a, a 1951 um, BSA uh, ZB Gold Star, um, which are which are as rare as hen's teeth. Uh, I I haven't ever seen an en engine like this for sale for probably four or five years. So it's, it's a very rare engine. Um, so I got the engine, and, and then you have to decide what you're going to do with it. You know, it's it's. Um, but that wasn't the last thing you got on eBay. No. Well, what else did you get on eBay? Oh, oh, oh yeah. The, the, the um, most parts were bought on eBay. Um, the the gearbox was from an M20 BSA, um, and that was uh, ninety dollars. Uh, and it looked really, really rough. But I, th I think it was an ex-war um, um, spare because it hadn't been used. Uh, there wasn't even a, a number on it. I'm not even too sure whether I got the got the um, facts correct. But um, I've been told it's, it's a. It's, it was, a, it was a, a standard part for, for, for a war bike. Um, and the wheels were um, off of eBay also. They were, um, they, they, you can tell they're second hand because a lot of rust on the spokes if you look closely. Um, but they're, they're, they're made in England. They're um, um, made by a company called Talon and XL rims. And they came with tires, um, uh, sprockets, everything really. And, and, and they were um, $750 complete. So. Well, you know, you're, you're talking a lot of a lot of entry stuff at, at not very expensive, but when you look at this bike, it looks like a very expensive yeah. bike. And maybe that's the the amount of work and the gem-like quality that you've put into it. Talk about the tank and the tail section. This is just a beautiful piece. It looks like um, it's it's you know it's the uh, 21st century of the 1950s cafe racer. Yeah, um, I, I tend to agree with that. Um, the, the, the inspiration for the, the tank and the seat was probably um, 60s Hondas, the 125 racing Hondas. Mm -hmm. And also um, in the UK, we, we used to have a, uh, a Yamaha um, FS1E. I, I don't know whether it would be the same spec as, as, as States. And it was um, designed for 16 year olds and they were very long and thin. And they were also gold actually, all the first ones were gold. So the inspiration for the tank and the seat came from that, but also, um, from from the BSA name, you know, like uh, the Gold Star is probably one of the most famous racing engines of all time. Um, so, so I, th I think the design of the overall bike was was, um, was 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 laid out in stone before I even even got the engine in my head. You know, it had to be a cafe racer for for a 500 Gold Star motor. Now, talk about your frame. Uh, did you design that yourself, or is this a, a frame that you you um uh, took some liberty with? Um, no, no, it's all um, made um, by myself. Um, it, it, it's basically all machined out, out of 20 mil steel plates. Uh, I say machined; um, it's machined, forged, and welded. Um, but I, I don't. I, I think I'm like a lot of builders. We we often don't have a have a plan. It it, it just evolves. You you, you, you take you take some material. Um, and again, th this was all pieces of steel which were lying around the yard. Um, and I think sometimes you have to, to use the skills you have. Um, I'm not very good with tube bending. None of my bikes have ever had a tubular frame. I have actually got a tube bender, but it, the bends always come out in the wrong place. So, so I, t I, t I, t I, tend, I tend to, to machine and, and fabricate rather than bend tube. I got to say though, this frame is just outstanding. It, uh, it, for me, it's what really makes the whole bike pop. You know, it's uh, it's it's really gem quality like. It's it's outstanding. Um, well, thank you very much for that. Um, the, the 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 main thing I was trying to do was 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 get away from my machining capabilities. Um, 
this is my, my fifth show bike and um, people get to know you what you do so you need to try to try to get away from and that's Larry's bike it's been machined you know so so I, like, on, like on the headstock it, it, it's all hand forged um, opened up forged welded um, and, and I think also you need to um, if it's a 50s engine you need to maybe use 50 50s technology in a way when you build something but but maybe also to bring in hydraulics that sort of thing you know um, otherwise you'd end up with a replica of a 50s bike right right so well let's talk about the frame geometry what are we looking at that um we got a, we got 26 degrees um a rake um the forks were made by myself with uh, minimal suspension um three inches of movement um the um the, the rear is um a swinging arm with a very unconventional um, suspension arrangement. The wait, wait, wait! What is that suspension arrangement? Um, it, it, is, is it? Uh, you, it's has a connection to the chain. Yeah, the uh, it. I suppose you'd call it a, 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 a mono shock system, um, even though there's two springs. It, the chain is connected to the bottom of the swinging arm, um, and it runs through on 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 police. There's two chains actually. Um, on spocket, sorry, or, or, or gear wheels, um, up to, up, up to and back into the um, rear springs there. So, um, if you want to change your um, your suspension, you change the sprocket teeth. No, no, you you just change the springs. Oh, I see. The, 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 and and that, there's a rubber um, uh, shock um, um, re recoil and, underneath. So, um, oh no, you can. It's, it's dead simple. You can you can change your. The suspension seconds in seconds, really, or just by adjusting the um, the adjusters on the top. Sure, sure. So it's not nothing that you put in production, but you know, it it works. It's cool. It, shows. it is cool. <laughs> it works. It shows. It does work okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it does work good. Talk about your um, your handlebars and your controls. Talk about your handlebars and your control system. Um, well, the handlebars, um, basically, the, the, they're the same design as the, as the rear swing and arm. Uh, I made the swing an arm, um, and like it, like always, like like several bits um, don't go to plan. So I I thought, hey, maybe make a handlebar using this 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 way of way of manufacture. So basically, they're, they're just uh, 10 mil plates, machined, bent, welded, and, and forged. Um, and again, it's trying to get the minimal lightweight look of of what I was trying. To achieve with the overall bike, you know, it, I didn't want it to look heavy. It needed to look more like a moped and a, a small racing bike rather than something which was which was too heavy, you know. Um, well, it, it really turned out well, and and all the pieces flow together so well. Have you been at other shows with this bike, and how have you done? Yeah, yeah, the bike's um, the bike was finished uh, end of January. Um, it won the um, British Championship. Um, in end of March, um, the European Championship was in. Mainz in Germany. Um, it, it won the um, um, European Championship. Um, it won another a AMD round in um, in the UK again, which is very unusual because it never had any AMD shows. Then we had two, which was great. But um, but because I'd already won an AMD show, um, um, the the um, the Sturgis Poise was given to a good friend of mine, which was great. So uh, I'm real pleased about that. I, I, unfortunately, he couldn't come this year. But he'd be here next year with with some nice stuff. So, um, you know. Well, if somebody saw your bike and maybe wants some um, work done for for themselves for their custom bike, um, do you have a website where people can go yeah. to? Yeah, I, I've just um, had a new website uh, um, put online actually, and it's uh, www.lamb-engineering.com. Um, and you and, and you see all my bikes on there and, and the things I make, um, my propellers and all my engineering products. Uh, I don't make much money on bikes, so um, so uh, there's a lot of other things on there too. But um, well, there you have it, um, Larry Lamb. Excuse me, Larry from Lamb Engineering. Oh yeah, but that's my nickname, Lamb. <laughs> Larry Lamb. Larry the Lamb. Yeah. Larry the Lamb. That's the name of the company. All right. So uh, good luck here at the AMD World Championship. Thank you very and, much. And uh, what a great bike. Thank you, thank you very much indeed. Thanks for interviewing me and um, let's hope the show goes well for everybody. Thank you.